to the Scratch add-ons YouTube channel. My name is Cool Scratcher, and in this video, we're going to be looking at everything new in Scratch add-ons version 1.22. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. There's uh, a few new add-ons, and um, yeah, really excited. So let's get into it. First up is the switch variables between for all sprites and for the sprite only. Uh, I'm getting Griff Patch vibes here, but uh, it adds more options to renaming an existing variable list, allows changing between four all sprites in the world sprite only, and blah, 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 blah. so there's a lot of stuff here, but I'm just gonna display it to you because that's what I'm here for. So, and let's just um, let's just create a variable. Actually, no, we already have a variable. So, if we right click immediately, we can see that there's a few changes. This now says rename or edit variable, and then it, there's also this new option that says convert to this sprite only. In the data category tweaks. Um, um, I'm just going to quickly enable this so that we can see this easier. And as you can see that this variable is for all sprites. So I just did a little bit of um, stuff here. And you can see that this variable is for the sprite only. Wait, hold on. Hey, wait, this that isn't right. We want we, we want these to be swapped. So to do this uh, with this add-on, just right click on the for the sprite only add-on. Um, what? No, for the sprite only variable and click convert to for all sprites. So, but now <laughs> this is also for all sprites. So we want this to be for the sprite only. Blob. So as you can see, now these have switched places, and I'm happy now. Oh, and if you and if I uh, if I create a cloud variable, and uh, and like I, I want to look over here, you can see that this um, option dialog box thing has been changed. So I can obviously rename the rename the name. <laughs> I can rename the variable. I can edit this. But wait, for the sprite only is disabled, so I can uncheck cloud variable, switch it to for the sprite only, and it's not a cloud variable anymore. Next up is better editor comments. So for some reason, there's a lot of stuff in this update about comments. This add-on basically just changes some things. So if I create, if I uh, add some comments, you can see that this is in place because it's not attached to anything. But if I drag out some kind of like a lot of blocks and I add comments to, oops, you can see that if I like do this over here click over here yeah it's messed up but with this add-on enabled and i sort of like you know stretch it around and i do all this and i clean up the blocks and i switch hey it's on the it's on the right place it also does a few things like it adds scroll bars and it it, it allows you to like click once into this dad what are you doing one now this next add-on hmm uh, I just have a feeling that this will be kind of important. I just don't think that this is going to be the last time that you're seeing this. You might see this again. Let's the block category menu into two columns. Blah, 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 blah. Like and scratch 2.0. Huh, that's a very strange wording. We'll, we'll, we'll just see where this goes. But let's turn this on. And whoa, okay, this looks pretty cool. Now, know that I do have the um, data category tweaks. Um, and this just, you know, it just kind of makes it look better. Next up is search bar. Sorry, I just yelled there. I don't know why I did that. Search bar on my stuff. So let's just go ahead and turn this on. Let's go to our very famous my stuff page. I'm going to close this generator thing. No, that's no, what? No. And if we go to my stuff, you can see, hey, search projects. There's a few options. You can search your actual projects. So say I want to see all the platformers I've made. I just search platformer. There's platformer, platformer episode six, platformer episode five, and all these other platformers. A remix of one of Grifatch's games. I don't know why I did that. And there's a few tips down here for searching. I don't know why there's, these are here, but yay. You can also search by reviews. And this is the only shared platform that I have. A to Z. Uh, Whatever this is, I'm just rediscovering all the things on this account, which is already kind of new. I've been using Scratch for like seven years. Note that the more projects that you have, the longer it'll take to search, because obviously I have <laughs> I have 390 projects. Um, that's a that's a lot, and on my other account I have even more. So um yeah, <laughs> it's pretty insane. Next up in other new add-ons. That's kind of weird. I feel like this add-on should be in um should be in featured new add-ons. Hmm, whoever manages this extension should probably um a moving editor comment previews into other new add-ons what what kind of what kind of decision is that okay anyways i i digress um editor comment sorry that was my phone <laughs> if i just go to this fantastic project by this very strange person over here as you can see i've turned this on let's go back to this and well so first of all this comment is collapsed but right away hovering over the comment lets you see the entire comment that's kind of handy and hovering over the block also lets you see the comment. So if you have a really, really, really long and somewhat useless equation like this, or a really long block, it says you can see the comment 
I can hover over the block to see a preview of the comment. So you can see that if I scroll a little to the right, yeah, this comment is here. Over here, it says if 10 is equal to 10, obviously you may be thinking like, what's the point of the add-on? Like, I can just read this, but if I go to the bottom, yikes, I don't know what this is. So I can just hover over the bottom and you can see that the comment attached to it also displays. If there's a lot of if statements, you can just attach comments to all of them and collapse them. And then you can hover over the different bottoms of the if statements and you can see what comments they're on. Over here on the do stuff block, I know a very advanced block. As you can see, this uh, this block seems to do stuff. Oh, well, that's odd. But you can see that just that because the comment is on the block definition, if I go to the actual block, you can see that I can explain what this block does. So say I have a really like obscure block and I move this obscure block over here, I can remember that I have an explanation. I can hover over this and you can see that it actually it actually appears so yeah just because this comment is attached you can see the thing next up is the high tutorials button so let's just go ahead let's turn this on let's go to the thing hey there's no more tutorials button next up is the quote post number um, so let's just go ahead let's turn this on and let's go to a forum post now say on one of these I want to quote somebody Say I want to quote this person over here who says just for everyone to know, let's click this new option, quote post number. And you can see that automatically there's this thing. And what this will end up doing, you can see that I have a link to this post. Let's click this and bam, you can see that right now we have gone straight to this post right over here. Now, technically this next feature isn't really a new add-on, but I just wanted to showcase it anyways because it is a new feature. The thumbnail setter add-on, which by the way is recommended, actually has moved Untitled 125, kabam. As you can see, there's a list little tooltip that says scratch add-ons browser extension allows uploading thumbnails from image files by using this button. But sadly, that is the end of the video. I know it feels so short. This update was super cool. Um, there's a lot of new features and I honestly really like this update. Like there's a lot of featured new add-ons. What? No, this isn't really in the outline, but I would like to say that there's a few new videos coming. One is pretty big. So if you're on the discord server, you might know what this is. You probably do. And the other is something that I hinted at us like very subtly hinted at. Well, I'm off. Um, and yeah, bye-bye. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Like and subscribe. Okay, bye.